the blade torrent I'll be honest I wasn't sure if I was gonna get this uh, but because um, I already have a doinker which is this um, pretty similar they take it I think this can take these props uh, anyway this is um, about the same weight so maybe that's what the advantage is and the KV of these motors is really high so you know on paper at least it seems like it would uh, perform a little bit better and at least the videos made it look like you know some of the preview videos made it look like it would perform a bit better a little bit faster um, and uh, you know what I want to do is backyard racing I already fly my uh, five inch stuff so um, what I just want to do is uh, backyard practice really so a little pool noodle course in my backyard so the first thing I did when I got this um, I noticed the antennas are just a plain you know uh, spectrum satellite antennas they're very thin um, and you know I, I don't think they're gonna break but uh, all it takes is a hit on something or whatever so I put some took the canopy off put some uh, really thin yellow heat shrink on it and uh, hopefully they're a little bit a little bit better protected but I also when I uh, had the heat shrink hot I, I just bent it with my fingers uh, towards the back in kind of a v-shape so that I get the diversity but the, because they were sticking up parallel which you know I don't know if there's really a point to having two antennas if they're going to be parallel to each other so uh, I bent them in a kind of a kind of a v-shape so that when it's flying like this they're sticking up somewhat um, and then the other thing I did was I switched the connector from JST to XT30 uh, because for my doinker I'm using the same batteries I was using my doinker and those are already XT30 so I just switched it to uh, XT30 and then uh, I shortened it a little bit just to save a, a you know half a gram or a gram or whatever but after I shortened it I added this zip tie for strain relief so that when I'm pulling on uh, the battery whatever trying to disconnect this it doesn't yank the uh, connector off um, so just a little bit of strain relief um, and let's see yeah when I changed the connector I had the soldering iron I didn't take the prop guards off and I just melted barely melted this just a little bit uh, can't even tell no big deal um, and when you take the canopy off when you take the top stack off to get to the uh, connector um, connectors that are on the board the PDB um, for the 401 ESC uh, <laughs> unscrew when you unscrew these and you feel them come out of that top board after as soon as they're loose take a piece of scotch tape and put it over here that way the screw doesn't fall out. Once it falls out, you're going to spend a lot of time trying to get the standoffs back. So just unscrew it, tape it, unscrew it, tape it, and then that way, and then try to keep this vertical from then on, um, and then that way all those standoffs won't pop off. So, But it's much easier if the standoffs pop off then you just do everything on a stack versus trying to get these screws back in and lining the standoffs up because that's that. That was a pain. Um, okay, so... After that, uh, I flew it a couple times. So those are the only things I did, and then I flew it a couple times, and I could see my video had a lot of jello. Um, so I know that with these small uh, quads, these props are more than likely not balanced. Um, and, you know, you can't really help that. The bigger ones, the 5-inch ones, are usually pretty well balanced, but the smaller props sometimes just manufacturing talents, I don't know. Um, so there's a way you you can hook this up to beta flight and spin out one motor at a time you know it's a little bit dangerous do it very carefully and only do one motor at a time and you can look at the uh, beta flight uh, gyro output but honestly if you hold this or hold the arm you can feel the vibrations and when you take a little piece of blender and tape like you see here blender that's the same thing we use for balancing like APC props um, except you, you know instead of putting this on balance it's just easier to dynamically balance which means you just spin it up feel the vibrations put a little piece of tape on one of the prop blades feel it again just move it around and at some point more than likely those vibrations will become drastically reduced um, and that's usually pretty good enough my my jello is still a little bit there but it's much better than it was before and I think once you do this a lot of the uh, drift issues people seem to be having in angle mode or self level mode uh, probably go away or almost go away um i only fly an acro so i've actually turned off my accelerometer completely but um i'm hearing people are having that kind of problem and i may uh turn it back on just to see if i can reproduce and see if i can do something about that but uh 
Um, for now, I just need to set it up a little bit more. So, uh, yeah, that's what I did. What else? Um, I flew it around a little bit after that, and then I went into uh, um, BL Heli and uh, updated the ESCs with the multi shot because it had one shot. It had like a 14.9 or something, and I put 14.85 or 16.85. Honestly, I can't remember the version number anymore, but it, I know it ended in 8.5. It was not 0.9, and I put 8.5 on it. And if you go into BL Heli, you'll see the drop down. So, other than balancing these props, um, I would do everything. Anytime you need to hook up a battery to this thing on your desk, take the props off. It's worth it. Um, like, if I hadn't done that, when I tried to calibrate the ESCs, for some reason these ESCs don't want to calibrate. If you put the throttle at max in beta flight and then plug in the battery, motors will go to full. I don't know why, but I ended up just calibrating, uh, not calibrating, just setting the endpoints 1000 and 2000. 2000. So, um, the other thing I did, if you have a sharp eye, you'll notice the props are reversed. I do that on all my quads. Um, I just basically uh, went into BL Heli and it was, uh, I, it might have been reverse, normal, normal, reverse, but I just flipped them. Uh, if it was the other way, whatever it was, I flipped them. And then you just move all your props around one uh, one way, like one prop counterclockwise or clockwise, whatever. So in other words, this prop goes here, this prop goes here, this prop goes here, etc. Um, I only do that because all my other quads are like that and I just like to be consistent. And I started doing that so that all the uh, junk goes away from the camera and then other uh, aerodynamic reasons but uh, anyway I just do that on all my quads uh, it makes no difference in flight you have to change one setting in CLI yaw motor direction to negative one and that's it change the direction switch props yaw motor direction negative one same exact thing um, that is it I will take off the canopy and let's took, take a look at what I did in BL Heli and beta flight Okay, so first thing, before we go into this, um, <clears throat> let's get this light over here. This plug does not fit very well through this hole, but it's not the hole that's the problem, or the plug, it's because this screw, see how it just sits in the way? It sits right in front of that USB port, so when this is, when you have this, the canopy on, and this, even when the screw is plugged screwed all the way in it partially blocks the USB port so what I did was I took this plug I cut the corner of this plug and then I wrapped a little bit of tape because there's this other metal stuff and I just didn't want it to touch anything on the uh, flight controller but um, this corner of the plastic I just snipped it with side snips so that it would the uh, screw would go right past it so when you plug that in there and you supposedly you can do this with the canopy on when I do it with the canopy on I actually turn it upside down so, okay, so that's plugged in.